pupils, join me in our this lesson. We are still on fractions and today we want to embark on combined operations on fractions. This is not the first time you are talking or you are learning about combined operations. We've said that combined operations, this is a problem that involves many or several signs or several operations. That is addition, subtraction, division. They uh, contain at least two or three. Now, uh, when you are tackling questions on combined operations, we say that there is a rule in mathematics. And the rule that's supposed to be applied is the board mass. Always have that rule. When you are tackling questions on combined operations, always make sure that you are following that rule, which is board mass. That is the rule that you are supposed to follow when calculating or uh, attempting any questions on combined operations. So today, I want us to look at fractions whereby we have been given about two or three uh, sides. And when you look at our question here, we have two sides that have been used in the question. We have the multiplication side and the division side. The first thing you need to do here before you begin solving the question, make sure that you rewrite the question putting uh, brackets. Rewrite the question and put brackets. This is what we are saying. We write the question that is uh, 1 uh, 4 over 9 multiplied by 2 1 over 13 divided by, that's writing the question, this division sign, 3 and 5th. Then put brackets that we want to solve what was in the numerator first, then we are embark on the denominator. That's why we are saying you rewrite the question, then put brackets. Which means, after you have the, uh, written the question, you'll go back to the root, board mass. Begin with brackets. We want to solve what is in the brackets. And in between the two uh, mixed fractions, we have a multiplication sign. We have already known how to multiply mixed fractions. That uh, make the mixed fraction into improper fraction. That will be 1 multiplied by 9, then we add it to 4. That will give us 13 over 9. Multiply by 2, multiply by 13, that is 26 plus 1 you get 27 over 13. This is what's in the bracket. Then divide by, change this one into improper fraction, 3 multiplied by 5, that is 15 plus 1, 16 over 5. Then, uh, in between the two improper fractions, we have a multiplication sign, which means you can as well simplify. When we have a multiplication sign, you can simplify. That's uh, 9 goes into 27 how many times? 3. That in 27 you can get 3 groups of 9, 9. Then this 13 and the 13 cancels, you get 1, a 1. Multiply the numerator, that is 1 multiplied by 3 over the denominator, it's 1 multiplied by 1. And remember, divide with 16 over 5. What uh, do you get when you take 1 multiply by 3. That is 3 over 1 divided by 16 over 5. We have also known how you can be able to divide uh, numbers. How do you divide fractions? That we said, change this division sign into multiplication, then get the reciprocal of the fraction on your right. That is the same as 3 over 1 multiply by, when we change the uh, sign to multiplication, we get the reciprocal, which means the numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator uh, becomes the numerator. We will get 5 over 16. You can simplify if necessary, but if there's no numbers you can simplify, then you will have to multiply. 3 multiplied by 5 will give us 15 over 1 multiplied by 16, you get 16. So, our correct answer for that question is supposed to be 15 over 16. That's how you work out problems involving combined operations when we have two or more signs that are in one problem. Now, I want to take you through a word problem. And this is where most of the pupils normally uh, get wrong. 
The reason is most people don't read questions. They don't understand. They just uh, start gambling, uh, working out without even going through the question. So we want to go through this question and you know how you can be able to solve such uh, problems uh, in exams. Peter, John and Juma decided to buy a piece of land. Peter paid three-fifths of the total cost while John paid three-eighths of the remainder. If Juma paid 30,000 shillings, what was the total cost of the, pre, I mean, of the piece of land? Here, you uh, don't know the total cost, and that's what you've been asked. So you will say, let the total cost be X. Let the total cost be X shillings. From here, you can now be able to make equations that if uh, the first person who was Peter paid three-fifths of the total cost, which means uh, Peter paid three-fifths of the total cost, which was X. And we said of means multiplication. So you can say uh, 3 over 5 multiplied by X, which will give us 3 over 5 X. That is what Peter was able to pay. The second person, who was John, paid 3 eighths of the remainder. And this is where majority of pupils get lost in that, uh, when solving such problem. That's 3 eighths of the remainder. Now, the total cost, which was X, then Peter has paid 3 over 5 X. We want to see what has remained. We want to get now the remainder. We'll have the total cost, X. We subtract what Peter has paid, which is 3 over 5 X, to get the remainder. Then, make this X as a what? A fraction. And how do you make a whole number fraction? It is simple. You only make a whole number become a fraction by dividing over 1. Because you discover when you have 2 over 1, the answer is just 2. That 2 divided by 1 is 2. Therefore, to make this 2 a fraction, I'll put it over 1. The same applies to this one. So that I'll be able to solve easily. Then look for the LCM. What's the LCM of 1 and 5? Good. It's 5. Take 1. How many groups of 1 can you get from 5? Uh-huh, that is 5. Multiplied by x, you'll get 5x minus 5 goes into 5 how many times? 1. Multiplied by 3x, you'll get 3x. When I subtract, I'll get 2 over 5x. This is what we are calling the remainder. That is the remainder. After Peter had paid this, whatever remained was 2 over 5. And in our question, we have been told that John paid 3 eighths of the remainder. So we want to see what John paid. John paid 3 over 8 of the remainder. And this is the remainder, 2 over 5x. From there, we can multiply. You know how to uh, multiply fractions. That's um, 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6. Then 8 multiplied by 5 will give us 40. We can simplify that. 2 goes here 3 times. 2 goes here 20 times. And this is x. Which means John paid 3 over 20 x. John paid 3 over 20 x. Uh -huh. Let's see. We are still continuing the question. We have got what John paid. We have what Peter paid. Who is remaining? Juma. And we've been told Juma paid 30,000. So we want to find out which fraction did Juma pay so that we equate the fraction to the amount he paid. This is what we are going to do. We will say if the total cost was supposed to be X and Peter has paid 3 over 5X. Then John has paid 3 over 20X. 
will we subtract the total cost minus what Peter and John paid, we will get the fraction that who paid? Juma paid. Hope you are getting it. That this is the total. Subtract what Peter paid, subtract the fraction uh, John paid, the remaining uh, fraction here, whatever we are going to get here, will be the fraction Juma paid. How do you subtract? Make this one as a whole number, then find the LCM. LCM of 1, 5, and 20. It is supposed to be 20. Uh -huh. 1 goes into 20 how many times? 20 multiplied by x, I'll get 20x. Subtract. 5 into 20 how many times? 4 multiplied by 3x, you'll get 12x minus 20 goes into 20 how many times? It is 1s. Take that 1 multiplied by 3x, you'll get 3x. Then you can subtract. 20x minus 12x will give us 8x. Eh? 8x minus uh, 3x will give us 5 over 20x. We can as well simplify. Say 5 goes how many times? 1s. 5 goes into 20 how many times? 4. Meaning the uh, last person who was uh, Juma paid a quarter x. Paid a quarter x. The fraction that he paid was a quarter of the amount. Now, what are we supposed to do? We go back to the question. We find out what were we asked to do. If Juma paid 30,000, what was the total cost of the piece of land? Now, the question is the total cost. How do we get the total cost? How are we going to get the total cost? This is what we are going to do. We'll say, if the fraction for, uh, this is uh, Juma, that is Juma, if the fraction for Juma was a quarter x and is supposed to be equivalent to what he paid, that is 30,000. This is what Juma paid and it's equivalent to the amount in shillings, 30,000. Therefore, the question is asking us to get the total cost of the piece of land. And we had earlier said, let x be the total cost. Therefore, we'll ask ourselves, if a quarter x is this, what about x? How many shillings is it? What do we do here? We do cross multiplication. That's take x, multiply by 30,000 shillings, then divide by a quarter x. So either this x and the x is going to cancel, then you remain with uh, 30,000 shillings, Rewrite the question, divide by a quarter. This is 30,000 shillings. Change the uh, division sign to multiplication, then get the what? Uh, then get uh, the reciprocal. Therefore, you take 30,000 multiplied by 4. The easiest way to multiply is taking 3 multiplied by 4, which will give us 12, and then how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 120,000 shillings. That was the total amount or the total cost of the piece of land. That's how you can be able to solve word problems. So do more exercises, you'll be able to get the concept right.